uh, by this Chris and in the last tutorial we went over model injection so let's go ahead and get to filling out these uh, methods here so this first method index we're gonna actually gonna pull all the uh, tasks so we could do this but I actually want to order it so to do that we're just gonna say order by and I'm gonna order it by created at if you don't know what that is, that is actually what it's in a timestamp, and the two timestamps in the migration that we haven't we generated, but we haven't run it yet. Uh, we're running Laravel's timestamps, so you're gonna get a timestamp for created at and a timestamp for updated at. So, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that. I'm gonna order it descending also, and then we simply have to get. Okay, and that's that function. Uh, we don't have to do anything for this because that's just return the task that create form. Function store this is where we're actually gonna save it or post our data to the server. So post our task. So in this, we're gonna say input input all. Input equals input all, and we're just doing this all right now to grab all the input to validate it. And we're only doing we're only gonna validate one thing. So rules equals array and we're just going to say a task that is going to be required that's the only thing like I said this is going to be really simple and then we just call our validator so we'll say v equals validator make and we're going to pass in the parameters that we're going to validate so we're going to input I mean validate the input using the rules and we're not going to worry about custom messages so if V passes if the validator passes here we're going to do something surprise surprise and we're going to create a new task so we say task equals new task Instantiate a new instance of the task model. I'm going to say task task <laughs> equals input get task. Okay. From what I've read and what I've seen, this method of assigning and you know, using input get instead of you see me in the past use input it would have been like this input task like that um, actually they're saying that this way is more secure so that's the way I'm doing it now I'm going to say task completed equals zero so that's just so it's false by default and then we're just going to save it so task save and you're just going to return the user back to the index so return redirect route so we're using the routes and tasks index but what is task index if you ever need to know you just type routes and I'll show you exactly where it's going so we just go in here, we look, we say, oh, here's task index. It's going to send us back to this URI. And this is the controller and the method that it's going to use. So that's what that routes thing is for, best used for. And if it doesn't pass, I'm going to throw something new at you. Usually we will return redirect to route, redirect route, as we did before. before. But now, check this out. We're going to redirect back. Redirect the user back with input and with errors. And the errors are going to be our validator. And there we go. All right, we got task show. We're not going to worry about that. Task edit, that's the form. And update. So, 
Actually, we do have to worry about the edit here. Uh, it's my mistake. I'm going to cut that for right now. And in our edit function here, we're just going to say task equals task. And we're going to find a task by ID. So find by ID. I've really considered about think considered thinking about uh, taking y'all along with me when I build my blog or my actual touch by site. So that'll be the next tutorial series. Is y'all ride along as I develop live my site. So and I'll get more into this stuff later. Uh, so task equals task find by ID. Um, and we just need to see if it's actually there. So if is null if uh, there is no task the ID. We're just going to redirect the user back to the index page. So return redirect route. And it's going to be tasks.index. Okay. Just redirect redirect them right back to the uh, index page here. If not, we're going to return. I mean, if it's there, we're just going to return next. I'll just paste this in because I just cut it earlier. Return view make tasks edit. And we're going to say with task task. Okay, so that's just going to redirect the array back to the view so we can use it. Okay, next we're going to update it. I know this is going a little long, but we only have two more methods to go. It's almost seven minutes now. It's actually seven minutes right now. So we'll just get these two last methods done. Uh, input equals array accept. Now this function here, this array accept here, is explicit to Laravel. It's not a PHP function per se, but it is a function in Laravel. And what it does is we're going to get this array called input all. So everything from the input is going to throw it into an array called input, except now, except this, except the method, which is going to be patch. So you don't want any of that. All you want really are the token, uh, the task input field that we're going to have, and the completed checkbox, and that's all it's going to return. All right. Now we just hash out the rules which is going to be the same, so rules, array, and it's going to be task required. Once you get used to doing this, it, it becomes like second nature. So validator, actually I used to not like using RESTful resources. I thought it was just a, I couldn't, I don't know. What did, I couldn't understand it. It was just totally different from using uh, Level 3.2, but now I've gotten more experience using four, uh, Level 4. I really like using it. So, And I switch back and forth between uh, resources and um, RESTful resources and RESTful actions, which are totally different. So. We're going to see if v passes. We're going to do this. We're going to task. That's not the right one. We're task. Find it by ID. We're going to grab the task with the ID that we're currently updating. And we're going to update. So, update. And we're going to update it with that input that we grabbed earlier. So, input. And when we're done, we're just going to return redirect to tasks index. So return redirect route tasks.index. And if not, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier and redirect back. So return redirect back with input with errors and it's just going to be the validators errors and 10 minutes we're 
got one more method left and it's the easiest one to do. It's the destroy function or delete. We're just going to say task find by ID. And then we're going to return them back to the index. So return redirect route. And task index. Task that index. So I'm sorry, it just took a little longer than I normally would. Uh, it's about 12 minutes, but um, I want to make sure that I actually explained everything that I was actually doing. I don't know if I explained it uh, as well earlier in my other tutorials. But in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create this master page. And then after that, we'll work on the views because pretty much right now, except for the views, our application is done. Uh, this is all we had to do to make the application work. Now we just got to present it. So stay tuned for those tutorials.